Hello and welcome to Salt and Dragons. Today I'm doing a special on the Shadow Fort of Grancis. As I mentioned in previous videos, Dragon's Dogma has a lot of cut content, and amongst that cut content, I find the Shadow Fort particularly interesting. The reason to why I find it so interesting is because the Shadow Fort is multi layered. It has many areas and it also serves or was supposed to serve as an entrance to a far away land in Dragon's Dogma. If you go to the right of the entrance to the actual fort and look down here, you will find a tunnel. This tunnel will lead down to the proving grounds and before the proving grounds you will find an area infested with goblins and if you go inside the fort and venture up to the upper level you will find a rather large gate this gate I believe is supposed to lead to a far off land in Dragon's Dogma and if you go up to the gate and look closely, you can see that the area behind it is fully developed. There are trees, uh, there are stairs, and it looks like you're supposed to be able to go there. But if you examine it, just like in Cassidus, the door is closed. And if you look to both to the left and the right, you have ballistas. These ballistas can be used against the Cyclops that will be down there when you will find off a monster invasion. But I believe that there are more to the ballistas. Because you will later on in the game find upgrades for ballistas. And I believe that a lot of these upgrades and actual ballistas was supposed to be used both at Shadow Fort and beyond. And if you go inside the fort, you will come to a room called the Commander's Antechamber. But there really isn't anything here. I do believe that this is not a fully developed area of the fort. Most likely there was supposed to be a large commander's table, commander and even soldiers here. But due to uh, the large amount of cut content we will never know. If you venture down in the tunnel that we saw at the entrance of the shadow fort we will come to a new area called the Frontier Tunnel. And normally this tunnel is filled with goblins, both small ones and hobgoblins. And I strongly suspect that this was actually supposed to be a goblin lair or potentially lead to one due to the large number of goblins that we normally find down here. Not to mention that they have campfires and if we go to the left here we will find a large collection of skulls, bones and also crates. Now it could be that this area was just used by the uh, goblins that were invading in the worm hunt quest. But I do suspect do that there was supposed to be a goblin there somewhere in the area. And if we go down here, we will come to the Proving Grounds. In the Proving Grounds, there lurks an ancient Cyclops, rumored to be clad in the armor of a thousand warriors. And behind the Cyclops, you see a rather large gate. If you go up and examine this gate, you will get a message. Enemies, they're here. 
In the Japanese version, you will get a bit of a different message. I think somewhere along the line, you feel a malicious intent. And to the right, you will find a treasure chest. And to the left, you will find another small gate. The Shadow Ford is a very interesting part of Dragon's Dogma due to the amount of cut content and its many unsolved mysteries. And also, the Cyclops here, which is a bit of a challenge boss, feels like he is a bit different from normal Cyclops in the way that I experienced that he is scripted a little bit different. He goes into rage much sooner. He deals a more damage. Of course, he is a higher level than the normal Cyclops, but he does seem to attack in a bit of a different pattern from your average Cyclops. That is it for this time. But if you enjoyed the video, why not leave a like? And if you enjoy the content that I create, why not subscribe for more? And if you know something about the Shadow Fort that I don't, please share in the comments and I will mention it in my next lore video or playthrough. Until next time, have a good one and until next time, I want you to subscribe. Yes, you.